A local community half-term football camp with a girls only session. This is the first time that Bloomsbury Football in Islington has an all-female group and it comes after increased demand from parents and children. Following inspiring positive change, the latest FA initiative which focuses on early participation and aims for every primary school age girl to have equal access to football in schools and in clubs by 2024. But is the interest already there? Bloomsbury Football's Foundation and Girls Programme leader, Marcus Carter, says he's seen a definite increase in demand in recent weeks. It's part of the game which is now booming. I think people are aware that it's now a thing in the UK, uh, like it has been in the States for a while. I think there's still a few barriers to break down, but I think the time's now right to put a bit of money and time and, and energy in, into promoting girls' football. The FA initiative aims to form partnerships with over 300 schools and clubs. And at the higher levels of the game, Leighton Orient women's players have never lacked the passion, but some had more support at school than others to reach their full potential. Because I was always quite good at football, I was comfortable playing with the boys and that wasn't an issue for me. But I think women only sessions, girls only sessions are really important to build that confidence. A lot of the schools around mine don't have girls football teams. I'm in sixth form now. We still don't have a girls football team, the boys do, they won't have it for the girls. The FA is seeking increased participation at younger age groups, but it seems the demand is and always has been there. They just need to find a way to harness that. With longer term ambitions of England winning a World Cup, this focus on younger talent may have come at the right time. Lewis Frayne, City News.